Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So today I've got a parcel to show you with some lovely goodies inside. Uh, yep, yeah, this one has come to me from fgnormal.com. Uh, the lovely Donna at FG Normal contacted me and said, would I like to uh, show some products on my channel? And I said, well, yes, of course. So full disclosure, these have been sent to me free of charge, but as always, my reviews will be honest. Uh, so let's get into it and have a look and see what we got so oh, we've got one diamond painting type bag and oh that looks like a diamond painting oh we'll put that one underneath so you can't see what's sneaky peek on that one and then a little flat package okay so exciting times i have purchased quite a bit from fg normal in the past this is my first pr package from them so let's have a look and see what we've got um i did go on the website before making the video and at the moment uh, for people in the uk if you spend over 40 pounds there is free shipping which is always a bonus yay we like free shipping and it says on the banner at the top of the website 30% discount summer sale so obviously you'd need to check out the website uh, and just go and see what special offers are on for your country and what special offers are on at the time when you go and have a look and when because uh, obviously I only uh, tell you what's on when I make the video and today is the 1st of July goodness me we've started another month I can't believe it we're halfway through the year already I'm going to be doing lots of that uh, C word for later in the year can't wait for all the new goodies come out for that as well uh, let me know in the comments what you're waiting for for christmas oh there i said it <laughs> okay so let's have a look at this little one first i did open it to have a sneak peek so i could find out uh, where my package had come from okay so i don't like these little goofy bags as well you know me i keep everything nothing gets thrown away oh gosh yes i remember it's these beautiful stickers right and oh look at the drills okay so we've got our just our starter toolkit basic toolkit which is your pen your boat and your wax very good okay and i do like keeping these bags as well <laughs> i keep everything but i just thought stickers but these are sort of grown-up stickers and I thought, oh these look really really good Let's have a look then. Oh, look at these. Look at those. They look like, um, are they wild roses? Uh, you can maybe uh, correct me on them. I think these are possibly lilies, but these look a little bit like wild roses. Um, these look like, yeah, they are, mm, I'm not brilliant on my flowers, but I just loved the colour palette on these and I wanted to give them a try. And they come in quite a big set as well. There's a lot on that page. What have we got on there? There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, three, six, nine, twelve stickers. Wow, that's really good. And sometimes when you order stickers, uh, you only get one little sheet of twelve as well. These uh, on the website at the moment are £3.99. So what have we got? We've got four sheets. So basically, wow, these sheets are a pound each. Gosh, what can you buy for a pound? A set, I mean, 12 stickers and they're so pretty. I love the colours on those. And what you could do is put a flower in the middle or make up your own little bouquet with this one. And then you've got four bit like wild roses or primulas you could use those in the corners as like a corner oh this is getting my creative juices flowing i like these oh and look at this we've got butterflies on this one so we've got six flowers and four butterflies so there's 10 on that one wow oh, i'm really impressed with these you're never quite sure how things are going to look when you get them so the side, I do like to order different things so you can see them um, and then you can make your own mind up. But uh, yeah, wow, okay. And then these, these are definitely more lily type, aren't they? Because they're like spiky flowers. I know we do have some bright red lilies that come up in our garden and they are absolutely gorgeous. That's the only reason I know what lilies look like. <laughs> so what have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten on that one okay so what are we up with 32 stickers so far 
and then yeah these are definitely roses um and lilies again so it's all like roses and lilies and so these definitely look more like wild roses you know the ones that you just get growing in hedgerows and things so again six flowers and four butterflies so that is 42 stickers for three pound 99 pence wow that is really really good value i do like these wow okay oh i'm definitely going to be doing these um i mean they're great you know for decorating you could put it on the back of your phone at the back of your tablet or whatever whatever um put them on little gift boxes and things or i actually quite now i've got quite a few folders with diamond painting paper working and i put them down the spine of my folders now just makes them look pretty makes all my uh, folders look diamond painted <laughs> okay wow okay let's have a look at these stickers i'm blown away i mean that's just brilliant you know i say you look at some stickers um with some like little characters and some of the children's stickers and things and they do look a little bit pixelated and you certainly don't get 42 stickers for 3.99 that's brilliant Oh, let's have a look at our drills. So they are all your acrylic drills, it looks like. But what you could do with these, because again, it's your project, your uh, flowers that you're doing. You could add um, some little gems to these or some ABs to these, depending on what project you're doing. I think I would definitely put ABs on the little butterflies. Uh, AB is an Aurora Borealis. It's like a, a, a standard gem, but they pour an iridescent coating over it and it just makes it sparkle and stand out a little bit more. Get like an oil on water effect, sort of northern lightsy type effect. But yeah, oh, but I love those little white flowers. They're definitely for corners. And you can definitely make some great little pictures i mean if you put a few of these together you know you're going to be able to make like a bouquet effect um hmm. oh i'm really looking forward to doing these let me know in the comments would you like me to do a little bit of card making with these and putting some of the flowers together i mean to be honest you could even make a wreath now there's an idea if you get one of those um cheap cardboard wreaths or even make it yourself if you're good at cutting out big circles cutting out a circle in the middle uh, possibly just color it green so you've got a base to work from and then just do all your flowers and then just stick all your flowers around the wreath that would be really pretty and there's certainly plenty to cover a whole wreath with this wow and then you could just put your little butterflies maybe just put them on a little bit of uh, acetate you know strong acetate just to um stick out so it looks as though they're flying on the wreath as well. Oh, I've got so many ideas that I could do with these. I could sit and talk for hours. <laughs> well, let's have a look at these drills before you all fall asleep. <laughs> oh dear. Right, so we'll start at number one. How many colours have we got? 20 different colours as well. Wow, that's a quite a big range of colour palette there. 20 colours for... They just mainly look pink and red green, don't they? But we've got some different shades in these. Really going to pop. So we've got a lovely bright white. We've got like a very dark russety red with a couple of blues in there. They've wanted to join the russet party. Uh, and like a cherry red. And then we're coming to more of a pinky red, dark pink. And a darker pink colour there. And look, we've got orange and lemon and a lovely sunny yellow. And then a pale yellow, so I'm thinking they must go in the centres of the flowers. So they're going to be pretty. And then a little bit of brown. I'm not quite sure where the brown will go. That will be interesting. Ooh, and a little bit of lilac there. And then look at these pinks. Wow. I'll think we'll, we'll call hot pink on that one. So we've got a hot pink. Yeah, we're going to call hot pink on that one because it's nearest to it. And then look at that, a little bit paler and a little bit paler and a very pale pink, lovely. And then your green for your leaves. So we've got four different greens. So we're going to get a good variation on the leaves that are a nice gradient on them. And then a little bit of blue. I'm thinking the blue will go on the lilies um, around the edges just to give it that, make the white pop that little bit more. So, yeah, they're absolutely brilliant. Love them. 
can't wait to get them done. And as I say, if you do want me to have a go at doing a bit of, uh, I think I'm going to make a wreath. I think we'll skip card making and I'm going to make a wreath. So if you'd like me to do it on camera, let me know in the comments and we'll have a go at doing that. But yeah, thank you uh, Donna at FG Normal for sending these. They are excellent. I'm very, very pleased with those. Okay, so that's project number one. So let's have a look at number two, because this one's already bare, as it were. <laughs> it's in a nice little see-through poly bag, so we'll have a look and see what this one is. Okay, so uh, let me have a look. This one is a full square drill, and this one was a £4, or this one on the website is £4 and 99 pence it's not wanted to come out of its bag look it's got cozy in its bag and look at that look how pretty that is look i've gone all flowery and pink i tell you diamond painting is changing my tastes i've gone from being all cute and cuddly to being flowery and pink on this one am i upside down no i am the right way up <laughs> just checking okay oh, look at those colors oh, hot pink hot pink well, okay, have a look at those in a second. Uh, same toolkit again, pen, butt and wax. Okay, apologies if you can hear Millie Moo, our little Scotty dog, uh, woofing. Um, Hubby's got a couple of his friends over this afternoon. And uh, one of his friends, Millie, absolutely loves. And he absolutely loves Millie. So it sounds like they're having a really good play and chasing around the living room. So if you hear a big crash, it means they've both fallen over. But they're big enough to sort the out. <laughs> okay, so we we'll, oh, oh, done that very well, Liz. Goodness me. Frame, girl, frame. Okay, so this is another one um, of the flower paintings that have like a frame on the inside with the flowers spilling out and I've really got a thing about these at the moment I really like these flower paintings and I really like the way you've got a frame in the middle and everything's just spilling out of the frame it's just something that's caught my eye and I seem to be really drawn to them that's the little teeny tiny thumbnail if you can just see that uh, sorry, it's a little bit dark today. We've had thunder and lightning today, would you believe? Absolutely raining like heck this morning, um, which, you know, has said we are in Great Britain and we've had brilliant sunshine and really, really hot weather and all of a sudden we get a massive thunderstorm. So, yeah, welcome to Great Britain. <laughs> OK, we have 22 different colours. 22, were you? So, oh, no. That was the last one, Liz. Silly girl. Uh, yep, yeah, we have 22 different colours and it looks like we're all lovely capital letters for your key code and DMC codes as well, which is always a bonus. And that looks pretty clear to me. I do always tend to look at the darker colours because if you're going to get any problems or any blariness, you tend to find it will be in the darker colours. But that looks really clear. So when you get away from the glare, uh, that is really, really clear drill field. And it's a, it's a square and it's just a little painting. I just thought I just want to have a go at just doing some quick squares. Um, I've done some really big ones recently. Well, big for me anyway. Um, and I just wanted to do some that will just work up a little bit quicker. And as I say, I'm doing my summer themed corner. I better get on and get it done, to be fair, because if the weather's changing now, I won't be able to do it, will I? <laughs> we'll be six foot in snow next week or something silly like that. So it is 25 centimetres that way, which is nine and three quarter inches. By 25 centimetres that way, which is nine and three quarter inches. So it's 25 by 25 inch square, the actual drill field. Um, so you could either, either buy a 30 by 30 frame. We've got squeaky toys going off in the background now, oh dear. Um, or you could buy one of, I think, Ikea do a 25 by 25 centimetre frame. And just a little thin border. You don't need a big ornate frame in these pictures because the drills themselves will just pop and sparkle and just look really pretty. And I think if you get a set of them, um, probably a set of three, and you could put one here, one in the middle, one here, or you could put them as a set of three going downwards if you've got a long wall that you want to just decorate. 
and it just makes the space look really pretty. But let's have a look at these drills. Wow. I've not had a square from FG Normal before, so it will be interesting to do this one. Um, when I do a PR package for a company, I do like to get a little bit of a mixture of different things so we can see um, you know, different categories on the website, as it were. So, yeah, I've got a square, which is brave of me. <laughs> These colours are gorgeous. Oh, oh, there's the extra ones there. Look, okay. So let's start off. Oh, okay. So number one, this is a very deep wine, a burgundy colour. And the drills are looking pretty square. I can't see any with little extra bits stuck on them. Let's say with any diamond painting, really, you do need to put the drills onto the canvas to see how they work out. But I'm not seeing anything that's crying out to me at the moment. That uh, looks bad number two is that our th lovely 310 yes it is so we've two big bags of 310 for our edging which is fine because with these colors having a black background is really going to make these colors pop out look at those with black they really will stand out that's brilliant so we've got a lovely lilac lavender color a darkish gray oh a nice deep purple these flowers are going to be so pretty uh, and a very pale pink and a brown so this must be in the shading and there's our hot pink oh oh have we got two yes we have we've got two shades of hot pink yay i seem to be a hot pink magnet i seem to find paintings that have got hot pink in but i do like my color uh we've got a lovely like army green there and that's a lovely soft pink and like a grass green, and that's another dark brown, and that's our other hot pink, and then a lovely bright pink, and a very pale lilac purple. Oh, and that's nice, that's a rosy pinky colour, and a little bit lighter burgundy colour, and then that's like a brown caramel chocolate type colour. See, we get food in somewhere, and then we have like a very muted purple, shall we say. And then the last three, we have another lilac -y purple. Oh, and a lovely rich royal purple. And then the 3865, I do believe that will be number 22. Yes, it is 3865. So we've got quite a bit of shading in this. We didn't have any uh, B52. No, we've not got the 5200. So there's no white, which is quite good sometimes because it can be a bit of a stark colour. But yeah, now then, I just let me get these back in the bag and I'll be with you in a second. official I'm useless at putting them back in the bags <laughs> I've read quite a hash of that but anyway <laughs> so that's our canvas number one project number two so let me grab some scissors and have a look at the last one and see what we got it's like Christmas oh I've said it again sorry opening these parcels let's get into it and have a look okay Right, so let's see what we have here. <gasps> oh, oh yes. I definitely was on a colour theme with this one. Oh, they're different colours. 
Oh, that's a different colour palette. Like those, and it looks like we've got them in little grip seal bags as well. Excellent. So we have our basic toolkit again, pen, butt, and wax. But look at that. I just thought this was really different. It's like a kaleidoscope, like a spiral of like spiky flowers with all little flowers around the edge. And then it's on a white background. It's a 3865 background, which is just slightly off white, not the bright white. Okay. Nice. Again, it is just acrylic drills, but you could add your specials to it. Uh, if you have any of the AB gems or any of your special gems, you could add those. But I just, yeah. I'm definitely, yeah. Uh, well, most of this year, I think I've been on quite a colour kick. I do like the colours and I do like something a little bit different. Uh, and an idea with this one actually was to cut it out uh, and mount it onto a piece of foam board and just have it as like a plate on the wall uh, rather than having it as a square with the background. If you need it cutting out um, and can fight with the foam board because foam board is quite difficult to cut out. You could actually put that as a round um, onto a round piece of foam board to go on the wall. And that would look really pretty. Or you could even make it into a clock, to be fair, because you've got your middle there. And if you get a clock mechanism, you could make this one into a clock. But that is really pretty. Wow. Okay, we've got 24 colours in this one. And we have 1 to 8. Uh, numbers 1 to 8 on the key code. And then we're all capital letters and all DMC codes for them. So that's really good. I think you can see the little thumbnail there. But I think, to be honest, from the picture, you can really see what this one is. I suspect it will be a 25 by 25 centimetre drill area. Uh, yes, it is, which is the nine and three quarter inches as normal. Yep, exactly 25 that way as well. So nice canvas. They're... Not too soft a canvas, but not a stiff canvas, these. They're an easy to work with canvas. Uh, I think I've said before, if you get the ones that are too soft and floppy, they tend to start falling over um, on your drill air, on your table or whatever that you're working on. I like them just to have a little bit of stiffness to them so that they're easier to work on. Look at these colours. Wow, let's get into these and have a look. And we have the code number there, look, it's 1237 is on there. So we can make sure we label these up correctly to go with the correct picture. Oh, I haven't made it easy, any easier for me to get in there. <laughs> okay, right, so where is it? There it is. Let's have a look at these colours. Oh, nice bags as well. Good quality bags. Oh, they're the ones with the diamonds on. Oh, yes, they're the ones with the diamonds on. Right, so, uh, and this one on the website is £3.99 at the moment. Oh, wow. Oh, I love these bags. Look, look. Little grip seal bags with a diamond on with the numbers. Oh. I've still got a set from another painting that I've done. Uh, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with them, but I can't possibly get rid of them when they've got diamonds on. <laughs> so let's see if we can put these in order a little bit. Uh, right, I don't feel quite so bad tipping these out because whoever's put them in hasn't put them in exact order. So that's good. I'm not destroying anybody's work. <laughs> oh, oh, we've got two 21s. Oh, dear. Oh dear, but I think we can tell that that one's 3865. That one should say 24 on it. So we'll put that at the back. All right, so we have 17 there. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. We've got one. That's 14, 3, 4. We just need number two. There's number two. Try and keep them in order. So you could actually work from the uh, bags. Oh, we've got two bags of number three. Wow. Okay, so that's going to be quite a big colour to do. Uh, let's have a look. Number 20, 13, 20, 19, 20, 21. Uh, 9, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 
Right, so we've got eight, six, five, and seven, and five. Oh, these colours are lovely. So let's have a look at these colours. It's always better to check when you do get your diamond painting that you have got all your drills. Um, otherwise, you may find that you don't do your painting straight away and you can't really go to the company after six months or a year and say, oh, well, I didn't get all the drills for this one. You know, It's always better just to double check. But I love the fact that they've come in grip seal bags, all numbered, and they've all got the little diamonds on it all. Really good. Okay, so number one is like a burgundy colour. And number two is like a slaty bluey colour. Okay. And number three is like our sort of sagey greeny colour there. You used to get bathrooms in this colour back in the day. Uh, and another sort of just slightly different. They like um, the slaty colour as well, aren't they? Uh, number four is 310, you black. Number five is a lovely lilac -y lavender colour. Number six is a very dark grey colour. Just put those in, keep them in order. Okay. Uh, number seven is like your orangey rusty colour. Number eight, we've got a lovely deep purple there, royal purple. And number nine is like your purpley pinky colour. Number 10 is a nice grassy green colour. Number 11 is a very, very pale peach. And number 12, we're back onto the Caramac chocolate colour. Okay. So I can put these back in the bag easier because they just slip in. <laughs> number 13, oh, with a few little escapees, look, they've decided they want to join this dark blue party. And number 14 is a dark brown. Number 15 is your lovely like, minty green colour. 16 is a nice rosy pink. 17 is like a cherry reddy pinky colour. 18 is a gorgeous pale blue. 19 is a nice bright yellow. I'm loving these colours really is gonna look super when it's all done and actually with it being round it probably will do quite quickly as well although it looks quite busy and looks like it's got quite a bit on it if you split it into four and just do one section at a time this is going to work up pretty fast and look really good in a really short space of time so we've got like a plummy purpley colour oh, a lovely rich aqua colour there a brown colour and then, as I say, this one, it does say 24, but it is 3865. It's your off-white colour. So we've just got one of the bags wrong, but there's no harm in it. I mean, if you weren't sure, um, you can always go on one of the forums or you could email FG Normal and just ask them. But if you've been diamond painting a while, you do sort of get used to the colours that are used a lot. And as I say, that one is definitely a 3865. Okay. Well, I've uh, quite enjoyed the shirt, ladies. So, we have had a lovely circle of flower design. We've had a lovely one of my spilling over the edge designs. And then these beautiful stickers. I just can't believe how many stickers we got for the money on these. Put those drills over there. Stay there. So we've got one, two, three, four little mini sheets of stickers. Oh, we didn't measure these, did we? Let me just give you some measurements on these. So let's have a look. The actual little sticker sheet size, I think they're about an A5 size, uh, is about 18 and a half centimetres, which is seven and a quarter inches by... Uh, 13 centimetres which is just over five inches and let's see which is about the biggest flower these are probably about a standard size on the flowers the flowers look as though they're two and a quarter inches which is six centimetres by two inches which is five centimetres so they are a good size if you're wanting a topper or whatever for a card they are a really good size 
but yes i'm going to make a wreath out of these so i will find a cardboard wreath i'm sure i've got one somewhere in my crafting stash that i can have a look at and uh, have a go at doing that because they all just do match together and the butterflies are very pretty okay well huge thank you to uh, donna at fg normal for sending these to me love them had a lot of fun uh, looking through them and i think the stickers are an excellent value there are quite a few different sets as well there was like a seasidey theme so if you like your seasidey themes or your lighthouses then go and check those out and see the others as well okay well thank you ever so much for stopping by if you have enjoyed looking at this video a thumbs up is always much appreciated uh, if you've got any comments or questions leave them in the comments down below and i'll get back to you as soon as i can and if you want to come back and see what i get to next see if we can get this wreath done if you subscribe to the channel uh it costs nothing it's this little button just down here in the corner you just click on it, it says subscribe a little um you get a little pop-up and there's an all notifications bell and that will notify you when any of my videos come up so you won't miss anything okay well i say thank you for coming along and i do hope to see you all again soon bye for now